Hi guys, welcome to Chrissy's Tiny Kitchen. Um, for today's Tuesday tips, I thought I would show you what I like to do when I have leftover tomato paste um, or anything like it that I'm not going to use. I used a little bit to make some soup, but I've got a whole bunch left. So I don't want to waste it, don't want it to go bad. So I like to take a medium freezer bag and I'll write on there tomato paste. And then today's date, which is July 21st. Okay. Make the bag into sort of a little bowl. Stand it up on itself, just like so. And basically scoop that in. I've got a little rubber spatula here to get everything out. One thing you guys will notice is I'm always big on reducing waste as much as possible. So we're going to scrape this guy down, make sure we get all that tomato paste out of there. Perfect, so I've got that all cleaned out. I also like to fold the bag onto itself a couple times, that way I'm not going to get any mess into the rim as I'm trying to clean it out. Okay, so you want to get all the air out of there. So you've got it like so, and then I like to start to press it out. I want to make one even thin layer, and then it's going to go in my freezer just like so. Now, if you generally tend to use, you know, a tablespoon, uh, a this or that, like if you know that you generally use them out, you can actually go with your hand sort of and make little indents in it to make different sizes. But once it's frozen, it just chips off so easily. I don't worry about making little indentations. So I've got it nice and flattened out like so. Just a little more up there. Okay, so I'm going to freeze it just like that nice and flat. So as I need little pieces of tomato paste, it's frozen, I can break it off and it makes it super easy so I'm not wasting and then I always have some on hand. This also works great if you're going to do um, grated ginger. I'll just grate the whole thing up, same thing, put it into a medium sized freezer bag, flatten it all out and then you can just chip off pieces. Um, I like to do it sometimes with fresh herbs that keep well in the freezer like fresh parsley. I'll also do it if I've got a whole bunch of garlic, I'll just throw it into um, my little blender food processor with just a teeny dash of olive oil, basically grind it up. Um, if you want to make it into a complete paste, go ahead. I like to keep it a little bit chunkier so I can use it for a variety of recipes. And again, you just spread it out thinly. Um, I've done this with coconut milk. So anything that you've, you know, you've opened a tin or you've got a whole bunch of something that you know is going to be um, used in small amounts in the future, give this a try. That way you always have it on hand and reduces your waste. So give this a try and um, let me know what you think. Thanks guys.